parts of the United States will on Monday witness total solar eclipse. The historic event has been dubbed as the Great American Eclipse. The moon will completely block the sun and will travel diagonally across the United States until it reaches South Carolina. According to reports, sky watchers in parts of 14 U.S. states will get a chance to view the solar eclipse in totality. The solar eclipse's path will cross through U.S. states of Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina and South Carolina. I think it's going to be very, very surreal, you know, for everything to get dark in the middle of the day and, uh, um, and, and then getting that, that hue all around, that silver light from all the surrounding areas. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. It'll be one of those moments that will just take your breath away um, and I'm even tingling just thinking about it now so I'm prepared to either scream or cry and it's just going to be a life-changing moment. And as the U.S. gets ready to witness a rare total solar eclipse people in the regions who are in the direct path of the eclipse are excited. One of the states in the eclipse's path is Illinois. That's where Weon's Andy Rosgan met Hindu Americans who are a little fascinated and a little perturbed as well. Here's a report. In bustling downtown Chicago, even jaded Chicagoans are sensing something up there is coming. Oversized spectacles dotted around the city are making folks realize it's going to be weird, wonderful, or worrisome. The city is going gaga over the total solar eclipse that will slice through the whole country coast to coast during the middle of the day on August 21st, the first such American eclipse in 99 years. For a few minutes, the moon will totally block out the sun along the path of the eclipse, which includes southern Illinois. In Hindu mythology, of course, eclipses happen when the demon god Rahu occasionally swallows up the sun. And at the Hindu Temple of Greater Chicago, about 330 miles north of the eclipse's direct path, Rahu will still take a pretty big bite. About 87% of the sun will be covered here. Are you worried? Is it a bad omen? I don't think so. Life, life is divine. There's, the divine does not make anything so cruel to the human or any life, any life for that matter. A.V. Satish, the president of the temple, says there have been plenty of calls coming in from temple members concerned about how the temple will mark the occasion. The temple will be closed for the eclipse, and older, more devout members of the temple tell us they will stick to tradition by cautiously staying indoors during the eclipse, not eating during it, and bathing afterwards. And many feel the eclipse could be especially bad news for politicians. There is a lot of change is going to come in the world, like politically changing, and a lot of things they say it will cost, you know, so I was keeping touch with that, what will come in future or something like that. Sometimes it might be good, sometimes it might be bad, so I want to follow up so that I want to know what's going on, you know, in reality. In the direct path of the eclipse, the winds will grow still, the sun will be blotted out for about two and a half minutes, and the temperature will drop up to 15 degrees. Dr. Mark Hammergren of Chicago's Adler Planetarium is organizing a day-long party on Eclipse Day in Chicago, but he'll actually be traveling south to be in the eclipse's direct path where there are countless festivities planned and travel packages to mark the eclipse's arrival. And Hammergren, like many scientists, will be studying the corona, the halo of light that will appear around the eclipse. Still, he respects and understands the religious implications of it all. The feeling is absolutely electric. Uh, things are ramping up. It's uh, really starting to get crazy. See the universe at work uh, in, in a very living way. And if the universe was created by God, then uh, the eclipse was created by God. So appreciating, it, uh, appreciating the eclipse is a way of appreciating creation itself, I guess. Norish Susarla is a scientist and also a temple member. He'll be following all his normal Hindu rituals during the eclipse, except one. He will be outside watching it. 
Susala says he simply chooses to believe that the eclipse is not a bad omen. Science and religion can coexist together, so that's, so that's what I believe. Wonderful thing to see, and you can see stars in the daylight, uh, midday, right? So that's, that's something wonderful. It never happened. Andy Rosgen in Chicago for Weon.